Hello there, I'm Commander Zep, and we are going to talk about a few ways to eke out some extra performance in your Star Citizen game. I've got a couple here for you, so sit back, relax, and let's optimize. First things first, you're going to want to load up your game to the main menu, and in the lower left corner of the window, you're going to select Options and click the Graphics tab. Your selection for windowed mode doesn't matter, but you're going to want to set the quality to high, scattered object distance to low, terrain tessellation distance to low, planet volumetric clouds to off, FOV doesn't matter, motion blur should be off, V-Sync is off. Sharpening and chromatic aberration can be zero, but don't matter that much. You can now click in the lower left corner to go back to the main menu. Next, you're going to want to click the tilde key, which is under the escape key on your keyboard, and it brings up the console window. The first command we're going to type here is r underscore display info space three. That is going to allow us to see a whole bunch of info, including our FPS up in the top right corner. The next commands can have a value of anywhere from 0 to 3, but 0 will effectively turn off each of these processes and give you the most bang for your buck with performance. The first command we're going to type is Q underscore shader post process space 0. The next command we're going to type in is Q underscore shader fx space 0. And then the last command is R underscore SSDO space zero. One more critical command that you need to make sure that you input is R underscore enable underscore full underscore GPU underscore sync space zero. If you have this command as anything other than zero, it's going to significantly lag your GPU and slow your game down by a lot. The next item on the list is to add a config file to our Star Citizen local folder. To do this, you're going to open a notepad and either pause and type, or just copy and paste the code from the description into your text editor. Once your text editor looks like mine, you're going to save as, naming it user.cfg, making sure the USER in user is in all caps. You will also want to make sure to save as all files instead of as a text file. Once you have this saved to the desktop, just drag it into the Star Citizen Live local folder, which should look like this right here. The final step in the optimization process is to bypass Easy Anti-Cheat in the Task Manager to make Star Citizen run as a high priority process. I have a video about that linked in the ending screen. If this video helped you with your FPS, or you just enjoyed watching, please feel free to give a like or a subscribe, that helps out the channel. I have been Commander Zap, fly with purpose, and I'll see you in the black.